know, maybe hit a billy goat here on the side and just, just tore it all open. So you may be asking yourself, Justin, do you really need another project? Well, not really, but we do have one. So as you can see by the title, we bought a bus. This is a 2003 40-foot Bluebird bus. This, is, this was originally made from the factory to be a prison bus. So, the, so there's quite a few things that are different on this versus just a regular school bus. And a lot of those reasons are why we ended up going this route versus a general school bus is because of all the extras that it has on it. So anyways, like I was saying, 2003 Bluebird bus. This thing has an 8.3 Cummins engine in it with a six-speed Allison transmission. This has the six gear unlocked. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of the school buses that have six speeds, they have the six gear locked out. Uh, so it limits the speed on them. So as you can see here, we have a nice giant big door. This is a big benefit with this setup as regular school buses have the little open and close <laughs> setup thing that you don't really want. We have this ginormous regular sized door that makes solid clunks when you close it. Yeah, hear that? That is solid metal so you can keep all your prisoners locked inside, right? All right. So we got a giant, we got the giant door uh, itself right there, giant bonus. Another thing that's cool about this one is it has full size windows. You know, as you see with school buses, they have the up and down windows, which can be neat to some, but one of the things that you run into with those is they can be hard to seal or over time people messing with them, they don't really stay up. So those can be an issue and a lot of people have to cut them out or just leave them and deal with it. This has nice big square, square ones, which to me look a lot nicer. They're more of an RV style window. Um, so that's a bonus for us, at least. The only downside to this is since it was a prison bus, we found this out later after getting it, most of these are all plastic or like a plexiglass, I'm assuming, so they don't get broke out. The only ones that are glass are the ones up front here on both sides. They're also the only ones that open. So down the road, when we finish building this thing out, we'll have to decide if we want to switch those or whatnot. Moving on. Oh, I guess before we, we move too far down the bus, this thing has dang near brand new tires on it, both steer tires and drive tires, as well as some nice aluminum wheels front and rear. So those should clean up really nicely and we'll be good to go there. So as you can see here along the side, this has a ton of storage. You have three big compartments here. They go all the way through to the other side. So it's kind of like a Greyhound bus storage setup, except it's not quite as uh, tall, but there is a ton of storage underneath here. Up here in the front, we have a water tank. Buses usually don't have a water tank, but since this was a prison bus, you know, for transferring, or uh, yeah, transferring prisoners between prisons, they have a toilet installed on board. So you gotta have your fresh water as well as black water. There is a black water tank in the back of the bus. So that's kind of, that's a couple nice features that we can uh, utilize right off the go. We might end up changing that around, putting a bigger water tank on it later. But for now, that's a good start. We got a toilet, fresh water, and black water. Can't beat that. So moving on to the back here, this is, this is a pusher bus. So the engine sits in the rear and they, they call it a pusher engine. And we kind of went back and forth on which route we wanted to go because we thought about chopping off the back to build a haul like a vehicle on it. But we decided to go this route, I don't know, kind of because it had a bunch of extra features on it. And uh, yeah, that's what we got. It is nice though having the engine in the back. There is a ton of room in this thing. Got the rear that opens up here. And this is the 8.3 Cummins in it. Um, I mean, there's some room to work on it, but this thing's pretty good. Thankfully, this is low mileage. This thing only has 150,000 on it, which is not really anything on this size of engine. You know, they put these in big rigs and they're designed to last hundreds of thousands of miles. So I'm very glad that it has low miles and it's kind of nice being a Cummins. They're reliable and they just have a ton of torque. You know, they're good for towing and getting you down the road. This is our giant AC unit that runs the main AC unit up front. So that would kind of be the AC that you would use if you're driving type deal. This has four different AC units set up on it. You have the front that is ran by that compressor, and then you have three separate AC units that are like an RV style uh, setup, three of those up top. 
and those there the condenser for that is up top above the engine here so back to that black water tank as i said before it has one of those in here for the toilet this is this uh piping that comes out here is for the black water so you can dump it like i said i don't know if we're going to end up keeping those tanks in this we might upgrade to a bigger one later but uh if not it already has it in it and it's already plumbed so we'd be good to go we just need to add a gray water tank all right moving down the side of the bus a little tight here we got a it's a big bus we don't really have a good spot to park so we're working with what we got here anyways you have another door here on the side this is kind of like an escape hatch or just a, another door as you can see here someone was like doing some top tier driving and uh i don't know maybe hit a billy goat here on the side and just just tore it all open so this is the only real uh, damage that's on the, the side or on the bus itself. There's a couple spots down here that are minorly folded. Not really a big deal. We can just straighten those out simply. But this is going to be the bigger one that we got to tackle. We might end up just removing the door completely. We don't know yet. So this is along the side here. You can see the three doors. This is the same as the other side, the storage that goes underneath. I'll lift this up so you guys can kind of see under maybe she's a little sticky we're gonna have to lube it but as you can see in there there is a bunch of storage another thing or another big bonus on this is it already has shore power so like i said before this was designed for transferring prisoners and of course you got to make sure our prisoners are just in top shape you know they they got to have everything they need heat ac toilet all that stuff why would we give that to the kids on a school bus that would be dumb let's give it to the prisoners right so anyways back to everything it has that being said they have shore power on this so if they're transporting them and they need to stop somewhere they can hook up to shore power to run the ac or whatever electrical they need to run inside so underneath here is where we have our uh box for our power and then the shore hookup I don't have this all rolled up but this is the the cable for our 220 shore power hookup all right moving on to the biggest highlight of this bus and the reason why we went so far to get this one specifically this already has a generator on it it is a 10,000 watt onan diesel generator a quiet diesel generator these things are awesome so this is the generator itself in here um 10,000 watt it has low hours 2800 hours which is is pretty low for one of these things and i, I knew i wanted to put a, a generator on whatever we built so finding one that had one is just a giant bonus to us and <laughs> these are really expensive finding these used is challenging the cheapest i found one used was eight thousand dollars so you can already factor that into the cost plus it's already installed we don't have to do anything and it runs off diesel bus runs off diesel so it's just a solid win having this there's a couple things we need to do to it basically a tune-up and then we should be good to go as far as the generator goes we'll have all the power we need okay so moving on to the front of the bus tons to see here i mean just pure artwork you know we got some grime we got some numbers some wipers that may or may not have duct tape on them holding them together not to worry i mean we'll get that figured out anyways just the front of the bus there's i mean there's stuff we need to do to this like the lights we'll end up changing out all the lights on it and and doing a bunch of stuff but not really much to see on the front shall we go check out the inside of the bus because i'm sure you guys are all wondering what a prison bus looks like okay time to go through that giant door that we talked about so coming on inside the bus here we'll go ahead and show you the driver's area this is pretty rad a lot of the the older buses they have that just there's not a lot going on in the driver's area they're just simply old and not very fancy this one thankfully is nice it's got a good clean setup uh, it's not destroyed they did take care of it very well all the gauges work uh, with this being a prison bus versus a school bus, there's not as many lights on this thing. So like a school bus, you have tons of switches here and a copious amount of wiring throughout the bus where this one doesn't have as much, but it still has the basic stuff uh, already integrated into it. So, all right. So as you can see, there's a lot of seats missing in this thing. Uh, the reason for that is this thing was down in Florida and we had to get it back home from Florida to Idaho. So my dad and his wife were nice enough to fly down there and drive it home. 
and what they had to do is remove some of the seats. That way they had a place to sleep since they, most of the time on the way back, they slept in here. Um, I mean, why not? That's what we're gonna use it for. Might as well test it out, right? So before we move on to the back, um, these are two seats. This would have been where the guards, the security guards or the prison guards sat. Um, I don't know if we're gonna use both of these, but I guess we do have two really nice seats in the front or maybe we just need more people to road trip with us, right? I mean, that's probably the answer. Anyways, uh, moving on back here, uh, the flooring on this is all aluminum diamond plate, which is pretty cool. I haven't really seen uh, aluminum diamond plate in a lot of buses, so that's kind of unique. And it goes up a little ways to the side here. We'll see if we end up keeping it. Uh, we might change it out with flooring later, I don't know. On the sides, you have bars all down on every window in this bus, aside for the front ones, you have these bars, and behind the bars are all the, the plexiglass windows. Um, as you can see, this one somehow must have got some heat and it kind of warped it. So, well, we're probably gonna rip these out for glass ones and maybe try to find an RV style window that uh, has sliders in it or whatever. Back here, where we still have some of the seats in it, as you can see, these are a stainless and aluminum seat setup. These things are pretty robust. I mean, they kind of have to be, they're hauling prisoners, so at the end of the day, they're probably bashing on them and beating them up. Well, they definitely are, because on the back side of all of these, they're literally all bent. They've like kicked them in and damaged them, but if you look up here on the ceiling, all the lights in this thing, everything in this, this bus has guards on it, so they can't like kick it or head bash it and break it. So like all the lights have these aluminum covers on it. This is an original escape hatch and they have a, a cover on this, so you can't utilize that. I mean, I guess that is a benefit there maybe. I think these are speakers that have guards on them. Uh, this is one of the AC units that has an aluminum guard on it. So what we're gonna have to do is come in here and drill out all the rivets and then be able to remove those and have access to them. And then we'll end up changing out the lighting and stuff like that. So <clears throat> moving on to the, the back here. For starters, this wall, uh, behind this wall right here is the condenser for the three rooftop AC units. Um, it's about that deep between this wall and the back of the bus. So we're not really losing that much that you would think. And then down below is the engine. We have panels here we can remo remove to be able to access the engine itself if we need to work on it. And then in the back corner here, we've got the holy grail toilet. It, it's probably not very bright in here, but uh, you'll be able to see a little bit more of that later. It is, <clears throat> it's just, it's great. Doesn't even need cleaned at all. Yep, ah, looks picture perfect. This isn't where this is gonna stay, but we might try to utilize this at the moment. Um, I mean, we have toilet in here, we might as well try to use it until we figure out where we wanna put the toilet uh, for its final resting spot, because in the back here is where we'll probably put the bed. So I think that pretty much wraps up the bus or going over everything on it. I don't think I forgot anything, but if I did and you see it in the camera, drop a comment down below and maybe we can touch base on the upcoming videos for this. So as far as future plans for this, the main reason we got this thing is we plan on building it out uh, to live in. So when we get property down the road, we will live in this thing while we build a house or whatever we wanna do. And then the other bonus to this is when we build it out, we'll be able to take it to events like King of the Hammers or Moab, places like that, that we're gonna stay for a long period of time. We will have a nice place to stay and then we will just tow the trailer with the crawler on it or whatever we want to bring so, so we're hoping to start building this thing out this year and just build what we can as we go and then use it uh, for trips here and there i don't want to just start building this and then it just sits until it's done we're going to build it and use it you know do a mixture because that's the bonus of using it while you're building it is you find stuff on it that you want to either change or stuff that you didn't know you need. So that gives you opportunity to add those things as you're building it. So that being said, there is gonna be a ton of videos on this thing. We are both very excited. It'll be a nice change of pace. I'm kind of getting tired of building vehicles. I don't know, I wanna try my hand at building, I guess a house if you will. I don't really know 
<laughs> really anything when it comes to woodwork or cabinets or all that. So you're going to get to watch Justin and Cassie, you know, try their hand at that kind of stuff. So don't be too hard on us. We're going to be learning as we go. Anyways, I'm excited to bring you guys along for this, and I hope you guys are excited to watch it. Drop a comment down below what you think of this thing. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Are we rolling? Yep. Can you tell me if we're recording? We're recording. Are you sure? I don't know if we're recording. I can't see the camera. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't laugh. Now you're moving over there more. Well, because you're now. not in the middle. You're over here. Well, you're it's fine here. if I'm off to the side. Okay. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> you know, this is a little more challenging not having a TV production crew, you know. I just kind of, you wing it and you don't really know what to say. But anyways, here we are. Should we re- let's redo that so I know the difference between the clips. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. Ha! A cut. Redo. Just, you didn't, did you stop the record? Oh, okay. <laughs> to start things off on this, they are, what, it, what am I doing here? <laughs> Where, where am I going with this? Yeah, there's different things. There's also same things, but there's also different things. Did I mention there's different things? I mean, are we rolling? Yes. So! Ah, uh, that's too aggressive. Right. Just do everything so fast. Just yeah. run to one end and like run to the other. Crackane. What is crackane? I don't know. You just mix it up. <laughs> too much. Right. Dollar about 15 notches off. Hmm. Okay. Good.